Uh, the importance of this uh, conference on uh, planetary security uh, is uh, twofold in my opinion. Uh, one, it brings in uh, a very, very uh, good academic and scientific community in touch with the military community. Uh, those who deal with security as an issue related to climate change. And uh, secondly, I think, uh, again, most importantly, uh, there is a preparatory work that will go on here that will prepare uh, different nations uh, in terms of their strategies for the upcoming uh, Paris summit, uh, the COP21. Uh, so I think uh, in both ways, there is a global impact that this particular conference has uh, in not only understanding the implications uh, for me uh, as a representative of the Global Military Advisory Council on Climate Change from Pakistan, how the climate change is impacting security considerations in our countries and how it's giving rise to threats that we now look, need to look uh, beyond uh, the traditional threats uh, that we've always been uh, used to. Yes, I think uh, because there has been a very, uh, a very large uh, uh, ignorance or the uh, desire to ignore the impending threats and the impending uh, implications of it. Uh, I think most of it has been related to uh, different uh, naysayers who have been able to impose a certain view that this climate change is not human uh, induced. And therefore, as a natural phenomena, this, uh, this is a, a part of a cycle that will occur in world history. And it is only now, recently, that everyone is recognizing the fact that if you don't deal with it now, one, this human-induced uh, acceptance that you have of the climate change uh, factors uh, is going to get even worse. And therefore, uh, I think they are now waking up to the potential threat not only in terms of uh, security, and especially when it is linked to the security um, of uh, fragile states or those states that are unable to cope with it uh, on their own. And therefore, I think it is essential that the world community comes together. Uh, the climate change impact we're feeling right now uh, is actually the result of uh, emissions that have actually taken place already. Now, what happens in the future depends on how you control uh, what you do in the future. And therefore, um, if we are not to see exponential rise in temperatures, exponential rise from uh, the melting of glaciers or the polar ice caps, uh, uh, an exponential rise in the terms of uh, sea levels uh, rising and the temperatures uh, going up, creating droughts, creating tension, creating migrations, etc. Uh, these are then, uh, if nations are not prepared for and resilient enough, uh, to take uh, into consideration the threats, they'll never be able to meet it when they are hit with this uh, particular problem. Uh, and that is uh, really what uh, I think uh, is not only the value of this conference, but also the, the fact that this realization has taken time for people uh, uh, to come to.